what is going on everyone and welcome back to more black desert so today what are we going to be doing we are going to be doing some bartering i actually haven't been sailing for a while and i kind of wanted to get back into it so we are going to be doing our last barter refresh for today um we just refreshed it a little bit ago so let's see what do we have is Hakovin worth running today or are we just going to do some casual bartering Hakovin is not worth bartering today. It's at 80 coins. So, you know what we could do? That's okay. Let's go get some extra materials. Um, yeah, I think we're running low on stuff anyway. So, usually I like to have a little bit of stock for all the tier fives just so we can be prepared for any Hakovin and coin runs. But today, uh, let's see what we have excess materials of. We have, we need more of those gold chests. Got some of these. Yeah, let's start with this one. So yeah, for all of you who have never watched me do any ocean content before, we do have a few things on the channel. Um, I always like doing a lot of variety stuff in this game instead of focusing on like one life skill at a time, but yeah, it's always fun. So, if all of you looking into getting into, like, sailing or something, um, the video, you can watch that. Basically, how I got my Carrick, and it, it did pretty well, actually. I didn't think many people would be into ocean stuff, but videos did pretty well, so. That was, like, an hour-long video detailing, like, tips and tricks that I could give you learning how to do it and all that stuff, so I think it was a good watch if you're interested. But today, um, really I just needed a break from grinding in the new region. Um, Jade Forest, as we all know, is the popular grind spot for the Embers, and all of us are trying to go for the Labresca Helm. There's actually a few things I've been going for, so obviously the Flame of Frost so we can turn our uh, helm into the Labres Labresca helmet. And this is like the new Bay of Fallen God helmet past uh, Capris 10. And we really just want like a try one at least. So yeah, eventually six months down the line from now, this will be sitting on the market, but I want mine now. They also recently came out with the Black Star offhand. And um, that is something... I think I can get at some point, but it's not like the highest priority. If I got one, that'd be awesome. But overall, if anyone wants to sell me an ornamental knot, hit me up. Because uh, I have an order on mine. And I'd like to get one eventually. Honestly, I would make it myself if it didn't require Spectre's energy. And... It's annoying because I've grinded both infinite pots without getting a spe single Spectre's energy. So I'm not sure if I'm just bad RNG or is it just like, is there a better spot? So for all of you who have gotten yours, uh, what spot do you get Spectre's energies from in particular? Or I know there's a lot, but which one did you get yours from? Because I would happily make mine myself if I could. But until then, I've been saving up materials like uh, hard sharps, um, the black star materials, memfrags, black stones. I've just been saving all of that up for whenever we get one or the other, and then we'll just start slamming clicks on that until one of those goes up. So, good stuff, right? In theory, it would be actually easier for me to get a... Uh, Black Star offhand because honestly for all the people who have Capris 20 in your Kudum Not really that much better But I don't have C20 We need more I don't think we need those just yet, but I say that and we could 
So we got 12 of those. And we can use four of them. Yeah, let's just go do it. Oh yeah, in my barter, we actually broke over 10,000 barters and the next bracket or the 11th uh, Margoria trade route opens up at like 10.2K. So just another 200 barters and then we got it. Okay, so you get a crystal extraction tool tomorrow. Those are always nice. Good thing is you don't actually have to uh, pay for these with uh, real money anymore. You could do some sort of quest and get these for like, I think it comes out to like 50, 50 million silver or something plus materials. The mystery box with the thing is going to crash the price of Capris a little bit. Um, honestly, two more days to this. I'm excited. Special. Make sure to log in to get these. These are pretty good, especially for all of you enhancers out there. Pretty good. I think they want you to level up your Draconia season gear. Also, for the record, you should probably not use any memory fragments on Draconia's or season gear. Right now, I'm slowly but surely working on leveling this. Um, it's at 50% towards uh, level 60. And yeah, basically have the weapons and armor at pen. I'm just working on uh, <clears throat> accessories now. And the thing I would say you should get if you are doing your season is uh, get the 140 stack. That guaranteed get the 140 stack. And then after that, I would say either the Artisan's Blessing for 30 days if you plan on playing that much, or you get the Memfrags and Capris Bundle. So, those are good options. But, I don't know how many you can get. Like, how many uh, total of these you can get. But, at least, at very minimum, get the 140 stack. After that, probably Memfrags or Capra Stones to roughly the same price, the uh, 20 bundle. And then if you have extras, get like the Artisan Blessing 30 day one. I think that's good. One thing I'm not like, I would say try to get a tier eight horse, but then leveling it up and trying to get it to Courser is kind of a pain. So I just, I can't really recommend getting a tier 8 unless you really know what you're doing. If you don't, then uh, just don't do that. Just try to buy one off the market. But yeah. It's one thing I've been doing. You know what's funny? In my storage, I haven't been enhancing much lately. Just because like, I'm at the stage in the game where all my enhances are like extremely like valuable and specific. So like I have two 150 stacks on the events. I got the 140 from season and this 135. I'm not even sure where it came from. I just have it. It was uh, an event or something. Either that was last season and I did not use it. <laughs> okay, let's go dump these back. Do I need more binoculars? No, I got 10 binoculars. Do I need more... gooey stuff? No, I don't need that. Um... Do I need more fragments? Nope, don't need that either. Teacups or lunchbox things. I got the lunchbox. Uh... Uh, 
Oh god. Um, I think I need more solidified lava, and I have teacups. Yeah. All right, that's what we'll do next. In case any of you guys have like no idea what's happening or how barters work. Let me just give you a TLDR. Level 1, it goes from level 1 items to level 5. Or white to orange, right? You trade up level 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5, right? And at level 5, you either trade these for silver. You could sell them to the vendor. Or you could get C coins by doing more barters. And um, sometimes, whenever the market is uh, right... The C coins would be worth more in terms of the barter exchange, and you'll get more silver by trading stuff. Right now, I think C coins are lower, and it's not great. So, make sure to, like, actually know what you're doing. Alright, so we need teacups. Six of them, I believe. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really remember where did where do you even sell these? You sell them for one C coin, but I think I need more of those marine knight thingies as well. Yeah, we only got four left. I actually saw somewhere. I don't know if it was a meme or not, but there's a screenshot of all the carrots that got like a new skin and it's basically the mask thingy right here it's a different color based on what you have and if it is correct the valor one looks really good actually they all look pretty good but the valor gets a red one and that's like pretty legit So, yeah, if you have any questions about, like, sailing or bartering, definitely let me know. I'll do my best to try to help you out with that, because there's this Google Doc somewhere out on the internet. It's basically, it's, it's kind of old at this point, but it has very useful information. So, it tells you everything about sailing, how to get a character, the materials you need, how to get those. Um, it's a good guide. The thing is, it's like 93 pages. And if you want something done or like you want to know something, I'll try to do my best to answer it. I didn't actually read 93 pages. I read the relevant parts, but uh, I think I, I have been sailing and bartering enough to know like basic information for beginner to intermediate players who are looking to get into it. So... Basically, bartering in a nutshell. I know there are people with literally hundreds of thousands of barters, but that's all they do. Like, I tried doing that, and if you barter, like, on cooldown, so you could reset your barter, like, every four hours at, up until, like, two times a day, plus, uh, refreshes. If you were to do that, you would have to have started bartering since the beginning until now, and you'll probably have, what, maybe... Two to three hundred thousand barters. But it's the same thing. Once you get the hang of it, straightforward. Still have these that, uh, I gotta use one day. 
I've been trying to burn all my J scrolls and all the loots at uh Jade Forest or the new winter region area trying to go for embers, but man, it's like I really need a break from grinding that. It's just so awful. I love the spots, but man, money not so good there. The drop rates worse than Turos. I think if they just did a little bit buff on the drop rates, it'd be perfect. I haven't gotten a special barter in a while. I'm like due for one at any time now. Yeah, we got this today earlier, and this is the title of uh, 10,000 Barters, which is pretty awesome. You know, now that I think of it, you know how you get a bonus for bartering? I think the next one I get is at 800. I thought it was every 50, but apparently it's every 100. What do I get? Um... From seven to eight hundred, we get an extra fifty stamina. That's pretty good. There's a lot of titles that I should go for. Some of these are dead that I don't think I'll ever get anymore. Because these are just kind of dumb. You know, one thing I wish was more organized, and I don't know if uh, Pearl Abyss will ever fix it. Your knowledge journals. Like, all of these. <laughs> like, these are, like, the most unorganized things I've ever seen. I wish they would fix it. And some of these are just, like, really difficult to figure out. Not like those, but more, I think, more on the ecology side because this one is not happening like there's a lot of them my goal would be to get over eight thousand foot item drop rate but that one is just time consuming and like realistically the six percent item drop rate permanently it good but the time it'll take you to get there you're better off just doing something else realistically in terms of your time do i need more statue tears nah i got six of them i'm good uh, we did need more of those marine things. Wait, whoa, 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 what was that? Hold up, yo. Standardized timber squares? For knowledge? Uh, do we have those? No, but I could make them. I'm pretty sure the perma sold out. Oh my god. Hey, listen. All these people out here, if you have an order that is uh, not maxed, there's uh, zero shot you're getting it. So uh, just put it maxed if you need it. Do I need more octagon boxes? Eh, not yet. I do think I need some of these though. Candlesticks. I need torn pirate. 
If I don't have those torn pirate things, we're not getting them. I'm not going to Portaferia for that. Uh, we have a zero of them. Got it. Guess we're not getting it. Yeah, I was also AFKing on a dummy earlier while I was busy on my uh, seasonal. And I actually like the Draconia. I think if I were to tag a character, it would actually be her. It's like, I like the abilities. They may not be the greatest right now. There may not even be a complete class with no awakening. But so far, like... I think she has flashy enough abilities to the point where it would be fun to play. But yeah, some more tips and stuff I can give you. Or bartering is separate like this may look like a lot of uh information you need to know about like nodes and uh, barter exchange um what i did was separate them by like half and half so let's say you have ilia island as your central hub for materials right and you're trying to go for a carrick as well um what you're going to want to do is split it in half to the point where, let's say, anything past Lima Island and under, this will be considered, if it's on the right side, you can get it for bartering. And if it's on the left side, consider it part of the Port of Feria route. Let me go finish this barter real quick. Okay, cool. Then I'll try to finish explaining this. Okay, so, as I was saying, like, if it's on, let's say, use this island as an example. If you are halfway down, if you just cut it down the middle, and any, th like, barter routes on this side, you could do that and then put it in here, your Ilia, and then I use Portaferia as well before I bought storage spaces for, like, Ilia Island, and I separated this into... Everything here is used for upgrading your boat, right? So whether you have a frigate or whatever, sailboat, I think is what this is called. Whether you have a frigate or sailboat, separate the materials so it doesn't get confusing. Um, everything in the feria you can use as boat upgrades. And you could also put materials in here. So if you're trying to do left side barter, then you could take them out of a feria, do them, bring it back here. You could transport them back, but realistically, it's faster to just sail back. Um, one thing I also did when I was doing my dailies, uh, you could use, if you have maids, make sure to use that as well. These are also boat materials, and some of these are like the Aquila coins. You do the dailies at um, Aquila's Eye. I think that's it. Yeah, Achilles Eye, and you just do dailies there. You can actually watch another video I did, and that's how I did dailies there. I showed you what you need to do, what you need to gather, and it's actually really simple. It takes like five minutes. Um, and then my other guide video for beginner stuff, 
we I taught you how to do dailies in Margoria. So like the route starting here, you go here, here, and then go upwards a little bit and then down. So that was just a TLDR. But if you want to actually watch how I do it, um, check out my uh, sailing and bartering stuff. It's uh, hopefully helpful. It makes sense to me, but as a beginner, I know you might have questions. Uh, definitely feel free to ask if you have any, because when I first started bartering, I was so confused and I was like, where do I even start? And step one, get a boat. Nowadays, unlike when I first started, like back in the day, you had to go to Port Aferia and do like 30 days worth of dailies just to get the boat. Nowadays, you just hike or you just go to the ship, get a registration, buy the one you want. You don't even have to wait 30 days. You could start doing it today if you wanted to. But yeah, uh, before we wrap up, I'll just like tell you guys some basic intro stuff on sailing, how you could get started. Okay, so yeah, uh, let me see. Is there anything here? Oh, there's zero shot. I'm going to the left side today. Um, but yeah, so step one, how to start sailing. Ship, buy a ship. I would recommend researching what you want. So sailboat route goes from uh, sailboat to advanced and then it goes into the Carrick version, which is the Advance and Balance. And both the Advance and Balance are more PvE ships. Um, none of them are really bad, whether you get the Frigate or Sailboat version. But let's say the Balance has a balance of weight and speed, whereas the Advance has more uh, weight, I believe. And the Frigate route goes into Volante and Valor. Uh, Volante is the one that goes faster, like it's the fastest technically, and the Valor is the one that does more damage, which is what I have, and it makes doing dailies slightly easier. Um, so more the PvP boats, but honestly, boat PvP in this game is kind of dead ever since they introduced naval fame, and I can't even duel my guildies and stuff, so... Ultimately, if you're just doing it for PvE, uh, research the one you want to do. Like, do you enjoy doing dailies? If so, I would go to Frigate Route because it'll make it your daily route easier. Um, whether you want more speed or you just want to clear the daily objectives faster. Or if you just like bartering, um, both the Advance and Balance are very good options. So, ultimately, just ask and I'll... Tell me what you like doing, leave it in the comments, and I'll try to do my best to guide you in the right path of what you should do. Because it is a long journey, and it does take many days of like learning how to do everything. So, if you are interested, hit me up on Discord, ask in the comments, follow me on social media, all the links are in the description, and I'll see you guys later. So, yeah, see you guys tomorrow.